Hello everyone, this is Nelson from the Technical Marketing Team. I'm going to demonstrate the use of API resources to automate tasks in a net backup environment. To perform this demo, I'll be using a backup 9.1 environment. Ansible Tower, formerly AWX, to orchestrate the workflows, and the Tower CLI to monitor the jobs. I'll use the APIs to automate the protection of VMware, and I'll show you a total of three workflows. For the first one, I'll add the VMware vCenter credentials in that backup. So let's jump in. I'm logging to the Net Backup console. Okay, let's go to the VMware tab and see what we have. We can see we don't have any virtual machines yet, and also we don't have any virtual servers as well. And now let's configure the VMware vCenter credentials in that backup using an Ansible playbook. On the AWS console, we'll launch a job based on a template. So we click on Templates. And I'll select the templates to add the credential that I already created for this demonstration. We can check the details to make sure that we'll launch the correct template and hit Launch. Here on Inventory, we'll choose the project that we want to apply this template to. Hit Next. Now the name of the vCenter server, we want to add credentials. Hit Next. Next again, and then Launch. And the playbook is running. Let's see its progress using the Tower CLI. All right, the job finished successfully. Let's go back to the Net Backup Web UI. Clicking on the refresh icon, now we can see that we have the VMware server added to Net Backup. And under the Virtual Machines tab, we should see the VMs contained within that VMware server. And this concludes our first workflow. Now let me show you the virtual machines that will protect on the second workflow. There will be these 10 VMs with the name starting with demo client. We can see they are not under any protection plan yet. But just to make sure, let's check the protections plan tab and it's empty. Now let's go back to the AWX console and select the template to create the protection plan. Review the details and click Launch. On Inventory, I'll choose the same project that we used in the previous workflow. Hit Next, and let's give a name to the protection plan. Hit Next again, and then Launch. All right, the playbook is already running. And let's see its progress using the Tower CLI. Now this playbook will create our protection plan. Great, the job finished successfully. Let's go back to the Net Backup Web UI now. Clicking on the refresh icon, now we can see that we have a protection plan. And it has all the options that we configured on our Ansible playbook, as well as the schedule. Under protected assets, we can see that there is no machines to be protected. After all, we want the playbook to be repeatable, right? That's the whole idea of using APIs. So let's add the service to be protected and initiate a manual backup. I'll show you this on our third workflow. Once more, 
Let's go back to the AWX console and select the template that will add the virtual machines to the protection plan. Review the details and click on Launch. On Inventory, we will choose the project that we are working on. And I'll select the protection plan that I want the VMs to be added to. And finally, I'll provide the list of the VMs I want to add. Let's hit Next and then Launch. Okay, the playbook is running, and let's see its progress using the Tower CLI again. As I am adding 10 VMs, it might take a few seconds. I think we are almost there. All right, the job finished successfully. Let's go back to the Net Backup Web UI now. Again, I'll hit the refresh icon, and now we can see that the added VMs are now being protected by the protection plan that we created in the previous step. We can also check the protection plan. And under the protected assets tab, all selected VMs were added now. In the last Ansible playbook that we used, not only added the VM to the protection plan, but also started a manual backup automatically, as we can see them running here. And all right, they finished. And we can also check their last successful backup on the VMware tab. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to use API resources from Veritas Net Backup.